Hello guys, welcome to The Train Pirate. If you don't mind, I'm gonna say it right now, I told you. A couple of days ago, we noticed that the large wells were distributing into the smooth to the upside. We saw a ratio of just slightly above one, which is not necessarily a lot of selling pressure from those large wells. But if we look at the history of this, which is what we did a couple of days ago, we can tell that there is some sort of correlation between large wells depositing big amounts of Bitcoin into the exchanges and the potential that there is a dump on the same day or in the coming days. So we left this question mark here and we can now confidently say that there was a move from the time we got the signal to the bottom of 11.2%. So just for the record, I'm going to write down here 11%, but here's the thing, the move might not be over. And in the rest of the video, we're going to look into what needs to happen for Bitcoin to continue going on the way up. The first thing I'm seeing is that every time that there is a distribution, you can tell that there is large amounts going in one direction, like a spike that goes all the way to a local top and then it starts cooling down back into the green. So the first thing I would like to see in the coming days, it's whether this thing is going to come back down below the MA and starts going into the green. That will be amazing and that will mean that the wells are gaining again confidence to start accumulating strongly. Staying around here doesn't mean that the price cannot pump. Remember the price can be driven also by retail. Loads of retails buying into this ETF could still drive the price up even if the wells are still distributing. But buying around the reds in this indicator, it's got more likelihood to be in the wrong thing rather than the right thing. And that's simply because the wills tend to do the right thing at the right time. From the point of view of CPR monthly and the RSI, let's have a look what happened in the previous days. First of all, we have some accumulation here. You can see that we've been all this time since early December below this resistance on the RSI. We broke it on the 1st of January. We push all the way up and currently we seem to be retesting, but actually we are not because we already broke all the support right here and we are back inside the previous range. And that's usually not a good thing. So we should expect to see some sort of dead cat bounce from where we are but consider that potentially an area to take profits. The only thing that can change dramatically everything that I'm going to say in this video if the ETF actually gets approved. If you get an official confirmation, and please stay away from all the crap that you're reading on Twitter or in other channels where people are just constantly saying that the ETF got approved already or that it won't get approved. There's a lot of misinformation outside. So I rather sticking just to the charts and looking at this. And whenever someone says this is official information, I read it, but I don't really believe it on the first read. Another thing that we need to look into, it's something magnificent that's going on with the CPR monthly. Let's focus only on the CPR levels of the past months. You can see that in November and in December, we had two months of virgin CPR. That's very simple. We have the pivots that are these lines in white and the price never touch the white lines throughout these two months and the first time we are touching the pivots is right now today 3rd of January. This pattern of two consecutive months virgin CPR the last time we had that was around April 2019. Let me go back in time to that period. This period was also pre-halving year and there was an early bull market rally as well. In terms of the cycle, this is a little bit earlier than where we are, but it's important to look at what could happen after seeing two months of virgin CPR. We got one here in April, virgin, and then we got another month here in May. Right after that, we had one month where we cross almost all the levels of CPR but it ended up being a fake out and doing another impulsive move that reached the third resistance, okay? So that took us to almost 14K. After we did this, we have some sort of blow of top, which from the month of June, we just went down until we found a final bottom in the middle of COVID crash. Let's go back to the future and let's imagine 
if that scenario happened today. I'm referring to the scenario of after two consecutive virgin CPR months, what if we had a last pump to the third level of resistance? That will take us directly into the 52.5K. That's only if we are going to have the same outcome that we had the last time that we had two months consecutive. Interestingly, at the same time, we also have some sort of fake out like this in terms of the RSI. So you can see we have a top here, we have the fake out coming up here, and then the price collapsing into the pivots on the third month and touching those pivots for the first time in three months. And from there, we have the push that takes us to this blow of top of 14k. So this is just dubious speculation. If we did that, we will need the RSI to still fake us out in this area to look bearish and to maintain this range. Another aspect to consider is that this whole thing of the whales selling into the pump happened during a period where we got an all-time high in terms of open interest. The amount of leverage from longs at this level was one of the highest in history of Bitcoin. And right there, we got a signal that I published on Twitter right before it happened. The signal triggered at 45.3 and it ended up coming down to almost 40K. It was this close to lose the 40K level. If you want to get notified of these signals, including leverage squeeze, this particular one, or the levels of CPR, or my analysis on RSI, you can find me on Twitter, Trading Parrot, that's my handle, and it's free to follow me, so why not? I have to be completely honest with you, I'm a little bit bearish on this whole thing about the ETF approval. I have the feeling that it's just a manipulative move to use you as exit liquidity. I personally don't buy into these narratives, and I rather much more focusing on CPR, on RSI levels. If you're going to see that many times I manage to just with RSI catch very big moves. I plan to continue doing the same during the rest of the year. One good thing is that in this month we managed to touch the first level of resistance. So that is bullish. It's also bullish that we are holding the CPR levels. If during this crash we go to 38.3, that's going to spell a bad outcome to come for the coming couple of months. Usually the model says that if you touch the level of support number one in one month, it tends to become more bearish in the next months. But on the other side, having lost this level on the RSI doesn't look really great. We'll have to see. Let me know in the comments what you think is coming for Bitcoin and if you are basing all your trading just on the speculation of the ETF's approval or what's your preferred method to trade Bitcoin. Thank you so much for watching. I'll see you in the next one. Bye bye.